All right, Guardian, so you have acquired your majestic set of armor, and you're looking to take this thing all the way up to Magnificent so you can work on those white glows. So let's break down all the objectives for the majestic set. Small details between classes, I'll cover those as well. Let's get to it. All right, Guardians, before we get to this, I do want to put a public service announcement out there for all of you. Currently, as of 11 a.m. Central Time on August 12th, and if this does get updated, I will comment below. Right now, if you get one of your characters sets up to Magnificent, which is the set above the Majestic, so kind of the third tier, if you move over to another character to work on the Solstice Armor on there, you're supposed to get a two times progression on that second character. When that second character gets all the way, they're set up to Magnificent. That third character is supposed to go three times as fast. Now that works for all the classes unless you do the Titan first. Me being a Titan main, definitely kind of bummed about that one. But it does seem they are working on it. They're kind of aware of the bug, so it will be something to watch. But if you're watching this video, make sure, you know, if you're just getting to this set, you're going to work on something else. Start with your Hunter. Start with your Warlock. Do those two first. Do the Titan last to ensure that you get that buff of two times progress and three times progress if you're going to work on all three characters. Some people may not, but wanted to let you guys know, at least as of right now, that's there. If it gets fixed, I'll comment below and let you guys know. All right, so the Majestic set, we've got some stuff to do, and I've worked on some of it as we go through. So let's go through each piece by piece. Um, and again, just like any of the other classes, both the Warlock and the Hunter, most all this is going to be very, very similar. You just might have some minor differences when it comes to um, enemy type that you've got to kill, uh, ability type that you've got to get a kill by, a couple things like that, over, uh, maybe the planet that you do patrols on. Most of it's going to be pretty general. Just make sure you read the descriptions on yours. So let's start with the helm. As you guys can tell, I dove into this one first because you got to do them no matter what. It's 10 Gambit matches. Every class has to do these. You just have to figure out which piece of gear needs it. But either way, you got to do 10 Gambit matches. Now, there's one piece there. Most people would say Gambit Prime is going to be faster. I figured out in Twitch chat actually helped. Um, the orbs that drop that you're trying to pick up, like so you can see I'm 528 of 1,000, those do not drop in Gambit Prime. For whatever reason, kind of a weird bug, not entirely sure. Again, if I get more updates later, I'll comment. But as of right now, the orbs that you're trying to pick up are only dropping in regular Gambit. So, while it may take you a little longer to do the 10 matches, you're also going to knock out more objectives, and you're going to have lots of enemies to kill, so there's lots of stuff you can do. So while it may take a little bit longer to do the 10 matches, there's definitely things you can use to fill that time, so you may as well just do regular Gambit for the time being, until this gets fixed later. So 10 Gambit matches, I would say go regular now, instead of Prime, because of the bug with the uh, Elemental Orbs not dropping in Prime. Second one here, you need a thousand orbs. Arc, solar, void, doesn't matter how you get them. A thousand orbs over the course of all the activities, that's probably not gonna be that hard, so pretty straightforward. Next one says, Guardians defeated with arc weapons. Now, I haven't touched Crucible. That being said, I have been playing in Gambit. There are invasions and things of that nature. So I think, and I wasn't even using an arc weapon because I was using solar for a different reason I'll show you later. So somebody on my team probably got some Guardians defeated. So that's another reason why you probably want to go do Gambit first, because if you do get some Guardians defeated, no matter what weapon type, you might just get a few over the course of 10 Gambit matches. That's not a bad thing to actually make a little bit of progress. So if you do have to go in Crucible later for just knocking out the rest of them, you have less to do. So my advice, the 10 Gambit matches first, go to regular Gambit, you'll get the orbs. You might get some Guardians defeated, and there's some other stuff we can work on in there. Second, I'm going to go to my Gauntlets. Now again, every character might mix these up, remember, so the Warlock and the Hunter might have these all in different places, generally all the same stuff. Heroic Public Events. There's no way about it, you just have to go do 10 Heroic Public Events on whatever planet you choose. Not really a big deal. Now, you do have to do some patrols uh, on a certain planet, like the Warlock has to do them on Titan, I've got to do them on Io, the Hunter itself, I've got to look real fast because I've got a list here. The Hunter has to do the patrols on... Why can I not find it? And the Hunter has to do them on the European Dead Zone. So you've got five patrols in each location. My advice, if you've got to go do patrols, work on the public events, at least some of them on that same planet while you go and, you know, knock out two birds with one stone. Biggest thing about this entire armor grind is the efficiency. Always try and combine as many things as possible. You also notice down here on the mark, it says Solar Weapon Final Blows. I'm at 254 of 300. 
Why? Because when I did my Gambit matches first, I took a Solar Hand Cannon and a Solar Grenade Launcher into that playlist. And the main reason is, there's nothing in here that says I need to get anything specific like certain types of orbs from Gambit. So if it's just I have to do the matches, look at anything else that you can work on. So I've got my weapon final blows. Whatever class you've got, whether it's Arc, Solar, Void, if you're Hunter, Warlock, or Titan, take those type of weapons into Gambit. Start making progress on those weapon final blows. EAZ Elemental Orbs. You need 200 of them. Pretty simple. Whatever you use in there, you'll get orbs to drop. Those should be dropping. Um, you're going to need to get some packages in there anyway, so a little time in the EAZ. This one honestly should not be that bad. Uh, just make sure you're using as many energy weapons, heavy weapons, your class abilities and supers as much as you can. Try not to use your kinetics. I've been using this thing to try and work on a little bit of the catalyst here and there. But overall, try not to use those kinetics. They're not going to drop those energy orbs. Uh, so the elemental orbs in EAZ, pretty straightforward. Patrols, whatever planet you need, probably on different pieces of armor. For the boots, you need elemental final blows. So if you click on it, it's going to say defeat combatants with elemental damage. Now, again, sticking with the elemental damage, heavy weapons, energy weapons, and abilities, all melees, not your regular punch, but your powered melees, your grenades, and your supers, all of that will count. And again, it's any type of elemental damage, so it doesn't matter what character, what type of weapon you're using, what activity you're doing, this one's probably going to happen. In my 10 Gambit matches, I'm sitting at 512. I've still got to get 300 Void Orbs and Strikes, and I'm probably going to see some others while I go through there. I've still got to do the public events. I've still got to do the patrols. You're going to probably get those elemental final blows. Just make sure you're not living on your kinetic weapon and you're going to be better off to make sure you get good progress on those. Second thing, playlist strikes. Collect void orbs and play any playlist strike. Now, that being said, one thing to make note is when we get to another piece of armor. But if you want to be as efficient as possible, what I would do is switch to void, switch to void, and switch to void. And if I'm going into Playlist Strikes, I'm at least going to be making as many Void Orbs as possible. And I only need about 300 of them. Solar Final Blows for the Titan. It is 100 Void Grenades for the Hunter. And then it's also 150 Super Kills for the Warlock. So let me break down a couple tips of how you guys can do this as fast as possible. My fist, I have a potential chance to make a Sunspot, which is also going to recharge my abilities. And also, the Soul Invictus restores your health, kind of keeps you going. It's not a bad thing. So, the Mortar Blast is not a bad way to go. You can do Shoulder Charge. It's not a horrible option as well. The Throwing Hammer, honestly, would probably be the quickest way to go. Because if you get that kill, you pick it back up, you get to throw it again. I was using this as kind of like multitasking, because I was trying to help with Super and Gambit and stuff like that. But if you need to grind it out on a Hunter, just use the throw. Sorry, not this one. Use the Throwing Hammer. Pick it up, recharge it, and just keep chucking it. And go to, like, a Lost Sector, like, Core Terminus on Mars, and it's just a whole bunch of easy enemies to kill. Just keep throwing that thing over and over and over. If it's a bigger enemy that doesn't die in one hit, obviously just shoot it a little bit and then throw it. But yeah, if you need the hammer kills after you do other things, that's probably the best way is the throwing hammer. For the Warlock, my advice for the Arc Super specifically is Crown of Tempest. And the main reason is, is if you go top tree crown and you can go into something like a Lost Sector where you can like run through, group crown up a of bunch Tempest of enemies. is going to make your super last longer, your storm collar, so your electricity fingers. And then if you're on top tree, if you have your grenade and your melee full, you're actually going to make it last even longer. So you can just sit there and cook things for a really, really, really long time. Now, if you want a couple tips to do this as well, go find a rally flag anywhere in the system. Doesn't matter, just a rally flag, so a public event that's not quite started. Hit that rally flag and go to the closest lost sector, clear it out, go warp to another rally flag. That's the easiest way I know, because that way you'll have full melee, full grenade. Run in there, shoot a few things, kind of get a group collected, pop your super, kill as much as you can, go back out, go find another rally flag. It's probably the fastest way I know to do it, and Crown of Tempus is only going to make that better for the Warlocks. For the Hunters and the Void Grenades, there's not really a whole lot you can specifically do to, like, spec out a piece of exotic armor. Best thing you can do is anytime that you are not required to use a certain subclass, make sure that you are using Void subclass, throwing those grenades as much as you can. Unfortunately, like, as the armor is pretty basic, it's not anything I would spend any currencies on upgrading. 
can't really go to like, you know, add a whole bunch of discipline mods or anything like that. If you want to and you've got extra shards that you can, you know, make like three energy on your armor and put a few more discipline mods on there, it's not a bad thing. We'll go a little faster. But if you don't have that much currency, just use the void subclass when it's not required to use anything else. And you'll probably get that one to happen. Use stuff like Vortex or Void Wall. Spike's a little more specific. Try and get the more broad sped spread longer lasting grenades and that's going to serve you best there next we get to the chest now here we can see we've got strike playlist but you want to go into the armor and actually read some of the details because some of these have very specific pieces about them so you'll see defeat combats in the strike playlist using a subclass that matches the arc solar or void it's the element of the day now, the element of the day, the only place you're going to see that is actually in the European Aerial Zone. So if you pull up your map, you'll see the European Aerial Zone. Apparently it's got all these challenges, so it's a little longer. But you'll see at the top it's a solar day. And if you click on it, and it's like hard to see or whatever, you'll see Searing Solar Light. Now, this is probably going to change for me uh, in about 49 minutes. But the idea is there's a daily burn. And what it does is you guys can see... Um, Bosses and mini-bosses only in the European Aerial Zone, this is in effect everywhere else, um, have, take are more vulnerable to solar damage. That's cool. So, this is where I was going to let you guys know one key. What I need to do in strikes is I need void orbs and strikes. Okay, that needs to happen. But what I can still do, I can make void orbs and strikes if I use my gnawing hunger, if I use my sword, and I can still make those, you know, strike Whatever the subclass is, I need to match that when I go into the strike playlist. Because remember, it does say strike playlist kills. That's the key. You can't just go, you know, farm through the same thing over and over and over. But then, if I need the weapon kills and the orbs, I'm going to focus those with my weapons. So match your subclass to the day, and then whatever orbs you need in playlist strikes, whether it be arc, solar, void, match your energy and heavy weapon to those. And you can still work on both things at the same time. The orbs drop based on how they die. So if you kill them with an arc super, they're going to drop arc energy. If you kill them with a void weapon, they're going to drop void orbs. It is not based on the day. You're not limited in that nature. It's just based on how they die, whether it be your abilities or your weapons. Finally, we've got 200 combatants. Very specific, just in the European aerial zone. So you got to spend some time in there for a couple different objectives. So you'll be in there a little bit. And then finally, it says, and defeat fallen using a subclass that matches the element of the day as well. So that was another thing I did. I went into Gambit, and that was the main reason I went into Gambit as Solar. Because if in my 10 matches Fallen came up, and you may have, you know, Hive or you may have Cabal, so just make sure you pay attention to which one you need. But during those Gambit matches, I if I saw Fallen, I was already on Solar subclass, so it didn't matter. So any Fallen I killed, I've already got progress on him. So just from my 10 Gambit matches, I've got halfway through my Fallen. And then honestly, if I need more Fallen, I just need to check the subclass of the day. And again, like the previous video said, go to the Lost Sectors. The Tross land on the European Dead Zone for Fallen. Core Terminus on Mars. It's the, the Lost Sector in the Braytech area. And then if you need Cabal, the Lost Sector in the Southern Section, the Glacial Drift, the Ma'adim Subterrain, that's going to be where you're going to find Cabal. So wherever you need your specific type of enemies, match your subclass to the element of the day, and then go hunt them down. But again, match your subclass to the element of the day while you do Gambit, and you're likely to see some of these enemies in there. Will you probably finish them all? Maybe not, unless you're just killing everything, but you're still going to at least make some progress to make this a little bit quicker. Finally, as I kind of skipped around a little bit, we're back to the gauntlets. As I said, 10 heroic public events, wherever you do it, just try and do the public events on the same planet you have patrols. Make that a little bit faster. Ability kills. This is, again, why I was trying to go with um, a subclass where I feel like I could get a lot of kills. And it really depends on what you feel to comfort in. Complete heroic public events, pretty straightforward. Defeat combatants with abilities. That's anything in your subclass. So I was done with that before I even finished my 10 Gambit matches. If you're using your grenades, your melees, your supers, try and wait, especially if you have a super, try and get a roaming super, not just like a one and done. Uh, try and get a roaming super, and when you get a new wave of enemies in Gambit, like at a new section, go pop your super, clear out a whole section. You'll make progress pretty quickly on this one. The final one you'll notice is bosses, 11 of 20. I'm right here, 10 matches in, half done with this already. Now, if you do public events, you're going to see bosses there. So between Gambit and your public events, the bosses are probably going to be done anyway. And you're not going to have to worry about, yeah, you'll see Where some in strikes. So that pretty much covers it for the Majestic Armor. 
when you upgrade all five pieces, remember, if you have all five pieces completely upgraded, that is when you come back to the tower, walk up here, and you would meditate at the statue. And you guys can see if I approach. I just talked to Eva Levante. But if your armor is ready to go, you can actually meditate at the statue here between them. But you have to have all five pieces. You can't, like, finish, finish the objectives on the helm, for example, and upgrade it to the next piece. You have to do all five and then upgrade them as a full unit to get to the Magnificent Set. The Magnificent Set is the last one. I'll do a separate video over that one, give you kind of some tips and things of that nature. Uh, when it comes to trials, of course, that's only the weekend. But overall, that one I will do separate. So hopefully this video helps you guys out as well. Thank you guys for the support on the last one. If you haven't subbed to the channel before, please hit that sub button and that alert bell. We are less than 300 subs away from 50k. You guys have been awesome lately. So please, if you haven't before, lots of stuff coming to you as always. You can also find me on Twitch and Twitter. See Bontis on both. And you guys are awesome. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you've got any thoughts, guides, tips that I may have forgotten. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.